What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we're gonna to be doing an open cup with a square cookie cutter today. As you see from the top down, we have a bunch of cold colors and a bunch of hot colors. We have a copper metallic to go with the hot, silver metallic to go with the cold. And with that, we're just gonna start layering this base coat on here and get going. How is everybody doing today? I missed you guys, sincerely. Hope everybody's doing good. We got this crazy cold front heading our way. So that's what's fun and exciting going on in my life right now. I don't know if I'm ready for this two degree weather that they're forecasting, but ready or not, it's gonna come whether I want it to or not. <laughs> so right now it's not too bad. It's in the high 30s or low 30s, high 20s. So. But with these colors, what we're going to do, so I'm going to alternate gradiating through the hot colors first and then the cold colors. And we're just going to alternate. All these colors were mixed with uh, three parts pouring medium to one part paint. My coconut oil hair serum is incorporated into all the colors, not the base coat. put maybe one to two drops per color. I'm excited just to lift this up because I've never used a square as a cookie cutter before, so. Hopefully it does some really interesting things. All right, now we got the blue. And since I know we're on the outside edge, I'm gonna use bigger layers of color. Let me raise that up and see what we see. It is making some really cool square lines though. I really like that. And I'm being careful not to let them churn now I could go a step further and just layer a white or a black in between each color to make sure they don't mix. But I'm just being a little bit more careful. They're still gonna mix a little bit from when they flow underneath the edge of the cookie cutter. Well, that's cool looking. <laughs> what the heck? All right, so let's start with these warm colors again. What would be really cool is if it was a very distinct, like square shape, which that would be awesome if we could get that. I think I got enough space to do my yellow layer. Plenty of room, you guys. All right. Uh-oh, we're getting some cells coming out already. You can kind of see them just blooming to life, and that's a really wicked cool color. Got some cells popping up now towards the outside edge. That is really cool. It's like every single color that we've mixed so far all in one, which is awesome. little copper in there. I tried to thin out the copper as much as I could, but it wouldn't, it didn't really want to cooperate with me, you all. Know? I think it's because it's a thicker kind of metallic body, so it just did not want to thin out too much without me risking, you know, breaking the paint down entirely. And I didn't want it so runny to where the cells just broke, like broke apart and I wanted them to maintain their look. Oh man, here we go. Lift it up. It's letting those little paints run free. Run free little paints. I almost had an oopsie. The 
cup just almost spilled everywhere. And that's okay, because a little bit more silver, because this is a very beautiful color. Let me let that drip, drip. There we go. All right. What I'm going to do, I, I'm curious. I'm super curious. I want to know what's under there because I'm seeing these cells start. And I'm sure that there's more. So we're going to help it along. Oh, wow. They are definitely there. Just making them all kind of bloom to life. That's cool. That's pretty. Just watching them all like expand like that. And we got a happy little frog face right there. Oh man, that's pretty right there. I love that. My oh my. So let me start making the layers a little smaller. Not too, too much smaller, but just a little. These colors are so bright and just gorgeous. Yeah, the copper is so thick. I'm just gonna consider myself lucky that it is, it is incorporating with the other colors. Like we have this really cool coppery sheen right over top of those dark blues. I don't know if it flowed through the paint right there. But man. Beautiful. So we're just going to continue doing our thing, y'all. There's just something about this medium, this, this art style that's just so therapeutic for me really helps me just kind of zone out, forget about the world for a little while. Whenever I'm doing art, I have no problems, which is amazing. It's so helpful to be able to just set, set you free in that way. I love it. All right, so we're getting a little bit starting to try to roll under, so. Gonna try to assist it a little bit, give it a little paint so it can move. So we don't wanna lose it all, you know? All right, so we did silver, so that means the reds should be next. Getting really close to where the middle is gonna be, so I'm gonna thin out these layers. I always found it interesting that everybody sees something different when they look at a painting. So I'm going to ask you guys, what do you see in this? Because I actually love hearing it and seeing how everybody's imagination is different. It's so cool. Get back, sir. Dang, I'm just bumping the heck out of it, huh? It's always cool to see like how murky it is in there, but I know that right below, like just like that cell is kind of popping up, that there's a whole world of just brilliant color underneath there. Makes me very happy to know that. just below the surface. This whole bright, shiny world. All right, so really thin layers now. So I want 
to have enough in the center to where we can still get some pretty cells, but I just don't want a giant blob of color. See, I'm just gonna let that drip once just because it's so thick. Getting close, guys, to where we're going to be. Man. Now I think just a little bit, just a tiny bit of silver. That's really pretty. And I'm going to release it out creating this really cool square kind of look to it. I love it. All right, so that's all the color we're gonna use. Let's break that film that's there and swipe through. Gorgeous colors, you guys. Let me take a little bit of this white here. go all around. This is going to be my first test run of a, a spin on this table without the big bucket. I think we're going to be okay because I'm not going to like spin the heck out of it. But yeah, I love it. All right, let me move some of these colors out the way. So we still have quite a bit of paint left. I'm not going to Ruin it all by spinning a bunch of color into it. Now what I always like to do is I also like to coax the cells to the surface in the beginning. Before the spin. Because it helps them just expand into something more brilliant. And then after the spin, we have thinned out the layers to an extent that everything can kind of do its thing. And we can create even more cells in the piece afterwards. So I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. There's a lot of really beautiful colors going on. Really beautiful colors. So let me try to get semi-centered, right? All right, I think we're ready to spin. So we're going to go this way first. Oh, Lord, that is pretty. That is gorgeous and I love the two pieces of negative space on either corner so I don't think I'm going to even mess with this at all. Let me get a baby wipe. Wipe the paint off my hands because I was not wearing a glove because I'm just too excited. Look at these colors you guys. And the way I'm looking at it in the light the copper is just bam. All right. Let me hit, hit it with the heat gun one more time and you'll see what I'm talking about. It generates secondary cells because you've kind of thinned out the layers to a point where the silicone can push through a second time. And it just adds so much more depth and dimension to the piece. I thoroughly love it because it creates like cells within cells. And it's just phenomenal and gorgeous and beautiful. I mean, you're seeing them open up before your eyes. Just these beautiful cells within cells. That is so pretty. I have to bring you guys down here so you can check this thing out. Let me bring you guys down. I'll be right back.
If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.